Hey everybody, happy Monday! Time for a new art journal and today it's all about spring because spring is coming very soon. We got the first hints of spring in Northern Europe. So I'm starting off with this stencil here with a butterfly and just tracing all the bits and pieces with some uh, graphite pencil and then I'm filling in the butterfly with masking fluid. Now masking fluid takes ages to dry and uh, I set it aside overnight and uh, let it dry through before I move on to the next bit which is coloring and since it's March um, coloring will be done by watercolors. I'm gonna focus on watercolors this month. Now, once everything was dry, I spritzed the whole page with tons and tons of water and did uh, add some colors, uh, warm yellow, cold yellow, warm green, cold green, uh, warm blue, cold blue, and last but not least, warm red and cold red. And then I did let it sit for a couple of hours and did let everything dry. I don't mind the colors migrating. I actually want it to be a very soft background. So that's why I added that much water to just let the watercolors do its thing. And then I, once everything was dry, I did peel away the whole masking fluid there and uh, started with the butterfly. I did again use watercolors but way 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 less water than before so that the color is almost opaque like gouache but it's still the same color that I used before in the background and I'm using a cold red and a warm blue and a cold brown to color in that butterfly. Now I really love that spring is coming here. I'm kind of sick of winter. Um, I like to have some sunshine once in a while and not only rain and gray and gray like for months and months. So I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for the flowers on my balcony to start blossoming and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. And that's why I made this page so colorful is because spring to me means colors. Lots and lots of uh, vibrant colors in nature. So that's why I had the colorful blooms in the background. Now once I had the butterfly filled in, I did give it a blast with my hair dryer before moving on to a permanent marker and outlining all of the bits and pieces of the butterfly. I took a quite um, big uh, marker here. The tip is, um, I think, medium. It's one of the Faber-Castell permanent ink uh, pens here. So I think it's one or 1.5 millimeters. I'm not sure. And once I had that completed, I did uh, take a gel pen, a white one, and, ga and gave lots of different kinds of patterns to the butterfly to just make it look goofy and a bit of funny and um, less plain. So far the page was really plain, though I used so many colors, but I wanted to add a bit more. I then went around the inner parts of the wings of the butterfly with blue and red watercolor pencil and uh, gave it a good layer of color and I also took some cold brown and went around the butterfly and also did some shading on the wings and then liquefied everything. It looks, this is actually the ugly stage of the page. I'm, I didn't like it at that point and I thought, oh, maybe I just ruined it, but uh, yeah, maybe I can save it. So with the same dark brown pencil, I drew this banner here, liquefied the color and then also gave the whole page a frame. Um, but only after I liquefied the brown colors around the butterfly and added a bit more uh, brown watercolor from my pens, not with a pencil there. So here's the frame going all around the page 
and again liquefying the watercolor pencil and then I took another of these stencils and just um, spelled out the word spring did color everything in with my black permanent marker added some highlights with white gel pen and then I'm done with my page so I hope you enjoyed watching along there's lots of close-up photos on my blog if you're interested um, I will see you tomorrow with a very tiny painting and next Monday with a new art tunnel page. Thanks for watching. Do all the good YouTube stuff and have a wonderful day. Take good care, everybody. Bye.